I've learned so much about Gaines School Elementary and the surrounding area. Oh, me too. I drove around the area and looked for all the many restaurants and shops. Some of them were Yerpy, Dunkin' Donuts, Johnny's Pizza, and all the fast food you can imagine. There were Goodwill stores and grocery stores like Kroger and Publix. I saw all those things, too. I also saw a lot of apartment complexes and small neighborhoods around the school. Sandy Creek Park, South Clark Park, and Zumba Center for Women were also relatively close. I went to the Omni Gym and talked to an employee. She said most of the customers are African American or Hispanic. This makes sense, because the majority of the students at Keynes Elementary School are African American or Hispanic. She also said that the East Side is more populated with Athens natives, with very little college students. She also said that the Omni offer childcare. Cool. I talked to a girl named Sharoya in the Yuga Education Program. She worked at the after-school program at Gaines. She told me that the parent involvement was very low unless it was a holiday assembly. However, she said that teachers were very involved and would stay after school just to check on the students. The last person that I talked to was a local. She said that the benefit of living in the area around the school was that it was in walking distance to a lot of places. I heard that, too. I think the biggest thing I learned from studying the area was how important it was to get to know the community your students come from. Every area has distinctions, and makes it unique. As a teacher, it can help us to become better just by simply being aware of norms in the community. I agree. I especially enjoyed making the connections with the community and students. Incorporating stores and restaurants from the community into lessons can benefit students because they can see the real-life connection. Definitely. I also found it easy to find standards to match the various activities created from the community. A potential social action-oriented project would be to focus on hunger in the Athens community. They could have grade levels work together to fundraise and create a percentage night at a local restaurant or fast food chain. Those benefiting from this event would be local food banks or programs set up to assist students with food for the weekend. That would be a great idea. I read that 96.5% of the students at the school are eligible for free or reduced lunch. I've also seen people at Yuga doing something like that with food to kids. That's where the idea came from. I can't wait to go tell everybody about this and explain how important it is to research the community.